Danielle, here's a piece of cardboard, and I want you to tell me how many squares are in there. And you, you've had area in school. Yes. You know how to multiply and do that, all that stuff? Right. Okay, how many anywhere. squares are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you multiply right. eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and write it down here on this piece of paper. Eight okay. by eight, right? Yeah. Equals 64. 64. Okay, now watch. I'm not going to add another piece of cardboard or anything. All I'm going to do is move those out here like that and turn this one like that. Put this one up here and put this one down here. And now I would like you to do the same thing. Go ahead. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 13 times 5. That equals 65, but there's something wrong. Why? Because there's one extra square. So are you sure of your mathematics? Yes. 8 times 8 is definitely 64. Right. 13 times 5 is definitely 65. Right. So where did the extra square come from? This is, this is sort of a, uh, a variation of the sort of trick that's in a lot of children's books. So, and the explanation is, regardless of what the shape is, that these are not squares anymore. That's a, that's a square here, or that's a square, but look at this one. See that dimension? Yes. And you see that dimension? Yes. It's what? unequal. It's not the same. No. This one's shorter, right? Right. Okay. So if you take a little bit from all the squares along this little line, you get one extra square. So okay. the correct answer is the total number of squares is really what? 64. Right, because now they are really squares. Right. So don't let them fool you the next time with an extra square. Okay, I'll be careful.